When Bitcoin first hit the market in 2009, people were hesitant to invest their money, worth less than a dollar at the time. A single Bitcoin is now valued at over $70,000. Now, Elon Musk has invested, so have millions of others around the world, but is it really that easy to make money from cryptos? Bitcoin. 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 Did anyone read that article about Bitcoin I sent you? It's the currency that has the world talking. But while most people know the name, knowing how it works is a different story. Bitcoin is essentially digital gold. It's a way to store value. It's a way to keep and preserve your wealth for the long term. Bitcoin is a form of cryptocurrency invented in 2008 by an unknown person or group using the name Satoshi Nakamoto. Cryptocurrency is just the name given to digital money and digital assets that are hosted on decentralized networks like blockchains. There's that other term you might have heard. So what is blockchain technology? It's a way for storing information and a way of transferring value digitally without using an intermediary, like using a bank or a custodian or an escrow agent. It's all done through code. So it's all anonymous. No names, just numbered accounts. The first customers were drug cartels and arms dealers who wanted to avoid their transactions being detected by authorities. And that's what made so many people hesitant to buy Bitcoin in the first place. But 12 years on, and opinions have changed. We're seeing traditional investments like banks really fall out of favour. Property for millennials obviously is far out of reach. Gold, well that's the analogue, that's the old way of storing value. Just like shares in a company, there are also a limited number of Bitcoin, 21 million to be exact. But they won't be released entirely until 2024. Currently, there are around 18 million available. When you're buying Bitcoin fresh off the open market, you're actually buying that off another seller, another holder that did have Bitcoin. Frankly, I have no idea whether cryptocurrencies are the greatest investment ever or the greatest financial scam of a generation. When I invest, I ask myself three questions. Do I know much about the product? Well, cryptocurrencies are mined by supercomputers that are solving a complex algorithm and then you get a coin. I've no idea what that means. Secondly, do I trust the people behind the investment? Well, with cryptos, it's all anonymous, so I have no idea. And thirdly, is there any financial regulation to protect me from scams? Again, cryptocurrencies fall outside the financial system. There's none of that. So for me, cryptos are just a no-go. Our corporate watchdog, ASIC, says they are highly speculative investments, are mostly unregulated, and the chance of losing your investment is high. Consumers should understand the risks involved, including the potential for these products to be scams before investing. It's high risk, but with any risk comes big reward or big loss, and it's just you make it a, a small portion of your investment. And at more than $70,000 a pop, most Aussies can only afford to buy a fraction of one Bitcoin. It's prompted some to look at the thousands of other cryptocurrencies on the market. Ethereum is one of the big ones. It's a network that runs on blockchain like Bitcoin and it's decentralised, meaning its cryptocurrency called Ether is not issued or regulated by a central bank or other authority. Next is Tether. It's another blockchain-based cryptocurrency and its coins backed by traditional money like the dollar or the euro. And then there's Ripple or XRP. It doesn't use blockchain to verify transactions. If cryptocurrency sounds like the right investment for you, the first step is to choose a certified online exchange or trading platform, like CoinSpot or Coinbase, Independent Reserve or BTC Markets. Then you'll need to sign up and make a deposit to your account. Once you have funds, you're free to purchase any type of cryptocurrency. And if this is your first time, start small. Mm, disturbing. Okay. Call me a dinosaur. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't. I didn't. Okay, Dogecoin, another one was started as a joke, 
then went through the roof in value. Elon Musk made fun of it on Saturday Night Live on Saturday night. Since Saturday night, it's dropped 35%. Oh, well, he might. Not for me. So if someone talks <laughs> it up next week, it might go up. Oh, yeah. That's called market manipulation. Right.